Hello all, it's Sharon, and today's video I'm back with a little part of my mini-series of setting up our new art and homeschool areas. Now, this item I did pull out for Nate. This is the Discovery Kids little solar system model. Now, it did come with this, like, fishing line that was kind of bouncy, like it was stretchy. He didn't like it. I'll show you what he did, but in today's video, I'm just going to be setting up some little boxes and uh, organizing some things like his little counters and I'll show you some of the decors that we've set up and items like that so that uh, solar system set also came with this poster with like some facts on it so what Nate did instead of well he used the uh, little stretchy cord for the Sun but he took the little clips off of my little clothes hanger thing here from Dollarama and he clipped all the planets on the ends of it and uh, there was 10 hooks but uh, he stuck one of the glow-in-the-dark stickers there on one and a moon one on the other but he likes it he put it up here on the ceiling so yeah we'll just use that as a visual aid but yeah I have to still take down this old calendar I'll show you right now I have the uh, new one and then I have like this is cleared off so he had a little Sun here and then we have this I love you to the moon and back from Dollarama. So yeah, I'm just going to be organizing some stuff in this video and setting up the new calendar. Also, I have to take down this um, pocket here because his chair is going to go here below this. And then I also want to set up his learning work uh, boxes. So yeah, I'll just show you the new calendar now. Actually, before I show you the calendar, I just want to show you this educational poster from the teaching tree. This came from the Dollar Tree, and I think I'm going to use the solar system, but I'm going to open this up and show you because on the back, there's always other information on these posters. I absolutely love them. You get two in the package for $1.50 at Dollar Tree, so I think that's great. So this one has the solar system and the layers of the earth. I just want to quickly show you these ones in case you didn't watch my Dollar Tree haul now with these posters you do have to add just a little bit of tape here to keep it together but I absolutely love them they're always nice large posters there's the solar system one and I'll just show you the back side so this is what I was talking about so there's like a little worksheet on here like there you can read the information and then fill in the questions this is perfect for the older kids because this particular one I believe is for um, grades four to six, but we can still discuss this information. So it's always great to have that. I'll just show you what's on the back of the other one, but we are going to be doing a volcanoes lesson. So we'll be reading this information when we do volcanoes next year. And then the solar system one has like planet review, the moon, the sun and the earth so yeah i love that that it has these extra bits of information and uh the questions so i'm just going to hang up the solar system one somewhere and i'll show you what that looks like so this dollar tree poster fitted perfectly on his ikea easel and i just taped it on so i can easily flip it over and we can review the other information on the back but yeah i like that gives them you know some more decor to this little homeschool area so this is our new magnetic calendar it is by melissa and doug this was really cool because it does a fold out like this so you can use it as a storage for all the little magnets i'm not going to be using that part because it also is a dry erase board so we'll probably use the bottom section as dry erase but it's got the month, the date, the year. Now, this one was an older one. I did buy this last year when I was babysitting, but we never actually used it. So, it has, like, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The weather, the season, different activities we might be doing. And holiday, how you feel, the weather. So, yeah, I really like this design of this. It does include 83 magnets. And what I like about this one also is that it does have Canadian items and American little magnets. So I like that. And there's these pieces too that are 
dry erase so you can use those ones for different other things like say like we don't have a magnet here for pride i could write pride month on that one or ramadan or eid because or any of the holidays is not here so that's pretty cool and uh yeah so i really like the design of this so i'm just gonna um i think what i'm gonna do is take all these magnets out and that we're not gonna like um to organize them because i'm not going to be using this side to use it as a storage area i do have this container from dollarama uh, i wanted to mention this had an awful label on it i could not get it off i tried different methods so we stuck this cool well nate did it but he did this little like i guess bark sticker across here but i already in this container this is the one that is double-sided so he already put in these little classroom decor there's different holiday little items that you can put up so there's different ones so he put those on that side already and what i like about this container is that on the other side it is divided so i think that this will be perfect for all the little calendar pieces so i'm going to get these out of this and then i will set up this new calendar so Nate actually just set up the calendar. I'll show you what that looks like. Now, I was planning on using this box for Dollarama, but the lid does not close properly. I had all the pieces in here like this. I also do have these other containers from Dollarama. This one already has some dominoes and a game in it. I'm going to try to fit the pieces in here and see if it fits better and I can actually get the lid to close properly. And then we will just use this as a standard pencil box. So I emptied out the little green case and all the pieces for the magnetic calendar fit in this perfectly. And then I also had this little Paw Patrol thing. So I added the little cardboard pieces to this. So that will stay in our morning basket with these magnetic pieces. So I'm just going to show you what the calendar looks like. So here's the calendar. Nate already set it up for today. And then, like I said, this bottom part is a dry erase, so we could use it for some lessons, so it does erase. I'm just going to show you some other things that I did start to organize. So, if you saw my Dollar Tree haul, I got these little erasers from the Dollar Tree, so I added them in here. And then, this was one I started setting up for some math activities. So, we have dominoes and a little game that's similar to left, center, right. So I have that in there with the instructions. And then this was Nate's like rail of crayons and the box was falling apart. So we added them to this Dollarama game over container. And they actually fit in there perfectly. And there's actually some room for some other supplies. And then these are Dollar Tree pouches. And it's kind of funny because the pattern on the pouches match what I put inside kind of. So these are the Dollar Tree... I think, yeah, these pouches are Dollar Tree too. So Dollar Tree little counting chips, the little ones. And then these are the connectors. So there's like the Starlink ones and like the Snowflake ones. It's just funny that they kind of match the uh, little pouches. But yeah, so I'm just organizing these little small parts and setting up his work bins. I'm looking forward to the rest of this first week of homeschool. And I will be back probably with the last part of this mini series next wednesday i'm also going to link parts one and two and down in the description and want to see how we started and where we are now thanks a lot for watching take care and bye for now